Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 26th, 2022. Well, this month is moving by us pretty quickly, and oh my goodness, did we have a rally yesterday. A couple things happened yesterday. We had the dollar falling, bonds pulling back a little bit. That relieved some pressure. And then, of course, the huge anticipation of big tech earnings reports. But unfortunately, they kind of disappointed. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, we continue to stretch, and the Dow is the big mover here. Boy, they are just stretching, stretching, stretching here in the Dow. Um, big point moves up to the upside. I would be really careful chasing this because just realizing how how dangerous that might be if we start to pull back um, and let me just point out a couple of points right in here on those rallies how quickly they can reverse to the downside and there really is no good clear place in there to place a stop loss based on the price action of the chart as we continue to push up we're correcting some of these um, uh, major issues in the in the overall market. Obviously, we haven't create, fixed anything in the bigger downtrend here in the market. And as we push on up, we're approaching some fairly substantial price resistance levels in the chart. So we'll want to watch those closely as we push up to those price resistance levels. And although we were um, lower overnight due to the big tech disappointment in earnings, the pre-market pump is on this morning here again, and we're pressing, trying to uh, push uh, the market on higher here. I would watch for the potential. Um, I think we have a, a relatively good potential of a gap up or a pop up open and then immediate selling coming in. So watch for that potential pop and drop this morning. They may be trying to bait folks in here this morning um, with that disappointing tech saying, ah, it didn't matter, but I think maybe it, it might matter. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, not quite as happy here this morning. We are popping um, um, in the pre-market back up, but as you can see, we're a little bit lower on that move today and that's going to be the way to those big tech reports now keeping in mind this is a bullish pattern in here we've broken through the the center of that w pattern we held the higher low we are kind of extended in the short term of the chart and we will want to keep in mind that we're approaching a pretty big level of price resistance in the chart and after those disappointing results yesterday we're seeing um, uh, quite a bit of pullback in some of those big techs so watch that closely and obviously big tech does have an impact here in the spy now of course the microsoft report would have some impact in the dow as well today so watch that close and then if we take a look at our qqq uh, well, very much the same situation here in the QQQ with a bit more pressure here. As you can see, we're giving back a good portion of yesterday's move here in the QQQ with those big techs pulling back. We had pushed up in here to test this resistance. It looked like um, everything was all systems go. There was so much hype about these earnings reports and there seemed to have been massive anticipation that they were going to be just great reports. I think there's a lot of folks that are going to be disappointed here this morning on um, on the QQQ, um, those big tech report charts because I think there's going to be a lot of folks losing some money today in that wild speculation. Now, keeping in mind, we are still above this downtrend, so nothing is nothing is bad here yet. We could literally just rest or consolidate. We could pull back as well, test this level of support, or we could just rest in here and continue to build an upside opportunity in that chart if 
you know, the other reports start to show improvement on the day. Um, and well, we have one today that I kind of am a little bit suspicious, won't do all that well, and that would be the meta report uh, today after the bell. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, let's take a look at our um, uh, Russell IWM. Now IWM is continuing to surge to the upside and you can see it's trying to push on up here this morning in the pre-market. You will want to keep in mind that overall, well, we broke this downtrend on the short term here. Overall, we still have a lot of work to do here on that Russell 2000. And although we are pushing up, let's keep in mind we're pushing into some pretty substantial price resistance in the chart. And if we were to kind of back this up just a little bit and look at some of those techs, well, our technicals here in the chart, well, we're pushing up here, as you can see, pushing up here above that 50 day moving average at the open today we'll see and that i think that does raise that concern of that possible pop and drop we can see that the qqq um, may be disappointing here around that 50 day moving average um, the same with the spy of finding a little bit of a challenge with that 50 day moving average resistance so watch that close now the diamonds well above the 50 day moving average in an extreme extension right now which again does lend itself to that possibility of a pullback let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar uh, well we've got you know some things in here that we'll want to be paying attention to our economic calendar as you can see um, we've got international trading goods. Well, first off, mortgage applications this morning. International trading goods. Um, we've got retail and wholesale trade um, or wholesale inventories here this morning that could be um, market moving depending on how those numbers come out. We've been seeing those numbers kind of increasing on those um, retail inventories. So watch that. We've got new home sales and a petroleum status report here today with a couple of shorter term bond auctions to pay attention to. And if we were to uh, take a look at our uh, VIX here in the market yesterday, VIX did quite a pullback and particularly right at the end of the day, as we were surging into those earnings reports, we pushed down pretty sharply. So we're coming down in here, we're testing this little price support in the chart. Now it'll be interesting to see with those disappointing earnings in the QQQ, um, whether or not we're going to continue this move to the downside or if we happen to catch a little bit of a bounce back up after a big strong move down we couldn't um, or, or down in the VIX we couldn't rule that possibility out but I also wouldn't rule out the possibility that this earnings hype that we're seeing right now um, um, can continue to push this VIX lower despite the fact our economic numbers continue to point to a worsening economy. Let's take a look at our T21, whoops, T2122. Our T2122, as you can see, well, we stretched up yesterday into the bearish reversal zone. Um, we are very tight up here and seeing the, the futures trying to push to the upside again this morning, does kind of point to that possibility of the pop and drop because of the the disappointments in big tech. So watch that this morning. Keep in mind, um, all even all the bullish inspiration in the world, if you take a look right across here, there's never been a time when we pushed all the way up in there that we didn't find some kind of a pullback. Now we can linger up here, and we've experienced that recently, where we lingered in that top area, and that could also be the case. We could linger up here for a period of time, but we're in that zone where we wanna be watching for that potential pullback. So if the bulls find inspiration, we can hang up, up hang around up here, but I would be watching for that possibility that the bears could re-engage here at any time and see at least a modest pullback after such a big run in the market. Our T2108, we stretched that big time as well yesterday with that big surge to the upside. You'll notice in here, we're still just slightly under that downtrend of the big long downtrend in there. We pushed through this resistance yesterday um, in the chart, those resistance levels, but you know, notice we still have 
quite a bit of work here to do, but I got to tell you, massive improvement, despite the, the disappointing economic numbers, we're pushing up here hard, 53% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. So that is a big improvement on the day. you got to give that up to the bulls. And if we take a look at our T2107, well, our T2107 also making a nice improvement here on the day, noticing that we're pressing up into these resistance levels. We broke through this area yesterday. And if I draw that longer term trend, you'll notice that we perked up through there in that longer term trend, broke through 31% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. So again, we gotta give that up to the bulls here. They really are trying hard to push on through despite the economic woes that we are seeing in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101 uh, continues to be a little bit struggling here. We just keep chopping around here in T2101. But on the bullish side, you can see we broke that little upside trend where the bears were in control. Now the bulls are pushing that control. We're trying to see if we're going to break down through here. So momentum might be a little bit... Um, uh, difficult to see moving forward, but we certainly have had momentum the last three days in the market with this big surge to the upside. It just seems like everyone can't wait to buy something um, despite what the big banks are saying that there is trouble ahead. Um, so uh, just be a little bit careful and cautious. Now, another thing that um, was kind of important um, yesterday is that we saw the dollar weakening. And that's been a big concern here for the market. A strong dollar has been running um, this market pretty, pretty rough, keeping those bears engaged. And so that weakening dollar and that break yesterday of that trend, probably was a big contributor to that rally yesterday and could continue to be a contributor to that rally today if that dollar continues to weaken. Unfortunately, when we see the dollar weaken, we also see commodity prices move up. And we're seeing that right now in energy prices. We're seeing some of those food commodity prices moving up. We're seeing defensive sector stocks suddenly moving up. Those are the, those are the food product items uh, moving up pretty strongly. So watch that closely because if the dollar falls dramatically, I would expect that we're going to see an inflationary number go higher because one of the major components of inflation is the cost of energy and food. And as the dollar falls, that raises those prices. So watch that closely. Now, um, one of the reasons this is occurring is Japan, China have run some operations to improve the strength of their currency, and that's pushing the dollar down. Um, so watch, watch that carefully. Now let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar is a big one for today, and guys, I, I had to write a short blog this morning. Had a a little bit of an internet problem here first thing this morning. So it's a short blog, but I did get the earnings uh, notables in there. Please keep in mind there's more than I can possibly cover here um, um, on the day um, in the report. So um, if you go to the link just below the title of this video, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that list of notables. So for example, we're going to hear from uh, Boeing today. We're going to hear from some retail AEM today. We've got some um, uh, medicine makers, um, uh, BMY reporting today. Looks like we're getting a nice move in BMY. We've got Ford reporting today. We're going to hear from Harley Davidson. We're going to hear from um, Kraft Heinz. Um, we're going to hear from um, O'Reilly. We're going to hear from Seagate and we're going to hear from Waste Management today. So keep an eye on all of those reports. A lot of movement here in the pre-market as those numbers come out. And please keep in mind for the rest of the week, well, um, we just continue uh, to, um, to ramp up on these earnings reports.
let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy to be helpful if you could do me that quick favor and then click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and um, i do try to answer all of those i apologize yesterday i got a little carried away in the morning activity in the right way options trading room and i didn't get to um, answering those blog posts but I'll be back on that case today so thank you everyone who does take the time to do that I truly appreciate it the channel continues to grow and it it's very humbling to me that there are that many folks um, watching and, and paying attention to these videos thank you so much let's take a look at some of these stocks uh, setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're gonna have to work very very carefully do your own due diligence in these charts making sure that you're paying close attention to the risk that you follow your risk tolerance never ever blindly or uh, follow someone else's trade idea until you understand the true impact of those trades let's take a look at some of these stocks in here take a look at netflix netflix whoops can't type this morning netflix continues to surge to the upside now i'm not wanting to buy netflix right now and the reason is is because it's overextended in that move but i'm only pointing that out to show you what's happening here in disney now disney will be moving towards its earnings report here soon as you can see on the 8th and there is a possibility with this break of this resistance right in here that disney could rally toward its earnings now unfortunately it's a little bit difficult to get a, a good stop loss in here because the last test of support was down here but if we were to rest a couple three days and then look for that opportunity there may be an opportunity to catch a little trade in here ahead of that earnings report and still try to avoid that earnings risk um, in that report watching for that upside trend to kind of develop to the upside and I'm seeing that in quite a few things take a look at um, Roku Roku also had a big day yesterday popping up. Unfortunately, it's pulling right back here today. But again, the streaming services are starting to show that little bit of bullishness here in the market, really led by uh, Netflix. Then watch for these potentials. If this breaks, this is going to be 11.2. Um, if that breaks that trend to the upside, holds a higher low, well then look for that opportunity in some of those charts if they start perking up to the upside. Um, um, there are a lot of interesting moves starting to happen based on the uh, pullback here in UUP. Now, one of the things, of course, you can do is you could short um, the U.S. dollar. And um, I know there are quite a few folks in RWO that are short the U.S. dollar um, right now. But in those moves, we want to take a look at energy. Energy continues to move to the upside. And despite the demand destruction that everyone is concerned about it, we've got a big upside move. Now, I have a bias in this because I'm already up about 45% on this trade in um, XLE. And we're going to get petroleum numbers this morning that could either enhance or hurt the situation. But please keep in mind, as the dollar falls, we're likely to see all of these commodity prices move to the upside. And with that in mind, you might want to be taking a look at things like um, DBC. DBC um, trying to put in a little higher low here. This is a commodity tracking ETF trying to put in a little higher low. Watch for that opportunity for that move to the upside. Maybe break some downtrend in here. You can look at um, direct commodities like wheat. You can see we're route. Whoops wrong ticker um, we've been trying to push this up we pulled back here recently boy that's a big old ugly um, pop and drop here this morning on wheat with a dollar falling but keep an eye on some of those kind of stocks you might also want to keep a, uh, an eye on some of the metals yesterday we had a good 
pop in some of these metals to the upside and you can see copper here FCX moving on up and as the dollar weakens I would expect to see copper um, getting stronger and stronger we might also take a look at some of the um, aluminum out there Alcoa pushing up here trying to break through um, how about some steel steel has been on a huge rally here recently watching um, for a potential breakout up here I would say that's a little bit too extended to chase but if we take a look at a stock like um, US Steel US Steel is right in that setup zone where this may have that opportunity to move to the upside take a look at MT another very nice setup in here moving toward trend little relaxing pullback if the dollar weakens look for steel to move to the upside so with that guys hey i'm running out of time here for today i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading be a little bit careful and cautious this morning as we're trying to pump that pre-market up but and watch very very carefully for that potential that we could bring in some sellers right after the open just because of those disappointing big tech reports and i gotta tell you i think this is this is me guessing uh, which doesn't mean anything but i just have to assume that meta is going to struggle here um, today in its earnings report after the bell so watch that close so with that guys have an awesome day i want to wish you all of the best we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning take care everyone